Hello students, drawings help you to understand a topic better and also help you with a better recall. Here is your articular fossa. Inside which you have the horseshoe shaped articular surface which is lined by articular cartilage. At one end it shows presence of an articular notch astabular notch which is covered by crossed over by the transverse astabular ligament. Keep drawing, coloring, labeling simultaneously dear students. In the center it shows presence of a fossa which is called as the astabular fossa which contains haversian pad of fat. Attached to the transverse astabular ligament this is your triangular transverse astabular ligament. Again, color it. Right. Now, let's add to this the beautiful astabular labrum. The astabular labrum is attached along the edge of the articular surface as shown. This helps to deepen the astabular socket and grip the head of femur during articulation. Finally, let me add the capsule to this, okay. It gets attached along the transverse acetabular ligament, along the edge of the acetabular labrum, 5 millimeters superiorly, again along the edge of acetabular labrum and back to transverse acetabular ligament, okay. Because it's a capsule and I want it to show differently, I'm going to draw it in a dotted manner. Show it in this manner so that it stands out well. Again, helps you to clearly define what you are trying to say. There. So, that's the diagram I wanted you to understand. It shows you the attachment of the capsule, astabular labrum, horseshoe shaped articular cartilage, central astabular fossa containing haversian pad of fat, transverse astabular ligament, Attachment of ligamentum teres femoris to this, all this in a single diagram. And the second diagram for today, which is a coronal section through the hip joint. Ready? Let's begin by drawing first the neck of femur. This is the neck of femur. You can continue this up here to form the greater trochanter and down here to form the lesser trochanter. Later on, we might need to color this, so that I'm joining this off. Over here now, I'm going to enlarge it to form the head of femur. At the center of head of femur, students, what should I draw? Yes, I should draw the fovea or the pit. On the other side here, you're seeing the astabular fossa or the astabular cavity. It continues here now. This is the superior, uh, the, the, the pubic region, okay, for those who are not quite understanding what's going on. Okay, now let me draw the triangular acetabular labrum, the articular cartilage in the region where there is the articular surface. Over here is the transverse acetabular ligament. Attached to it and to the fovea is the ligamentum teres femoris. Over here is the haversian pad of fat. Now taking a green colored pen, I want you to draw the capsule which gets attached along the edge and then gets attached to the neck of femur. You can see some fibers rising upwards forming what is called as the acetabular retinacular fibers of the capsule. These are the retinacular fibers. Taking a red colored pen, draw some blood vessels here indicating the retinacular blood vessels which supply the head of femur. Cover the head of femur here with the articular cartilage. Now taking a blue colored pen or whatever color you prefer, Color all the cartilages. So here's your articular cartilage. Here's your articular cartilage. Take a much darker color and color your acetabular labrum. Why? To ensure that in your brain you register 
that these are two different types of cartilage. Ligamentum teres femoris, transverse acetabular ligament, habersian pad of fat. Okay, so I will just draw a few dots indicating that this is a collection of fat. Okay, it's not a homogeneous body. Now take some other color. I prefer orange always and begin to line your joint with the help of synovial membrane. All surfaces of your hip joint which are not lined by articular cartilages are lined by synovial membrane. This includes your ligamentum teres femoris and the haversian pad of fat. There. That completes your drawing diagram of the head of femur. If you want, you can color the femur, indicating that's the femur participating in the joint. Students, now I want you to sit and ponder on what all you've learned here. Okay, let's see. You've learned the attachment of capsules of the hip joint. You've learned about the retinacular fibers of capsule and retinacular blood vessels. You've learned about two types of cartilage. Articular cartilage lining the astabulum as well as the head of femur and astabular labrum deepening the astabular socket. You have learnt about haversian pad of fat present in the astabular fossa. Ligamentum teres femoris connecting the transverse astabular ligament to the fovea on the head of femur. That's quite a lot of understanding in barely 5 minutes. Besides this, you can use this diagram later in your exams to draw while giving your theory answers.